if you look on the back of the two dollar bill john hansen if you blink you will miss him i seen john hansen you know with the red circle on it from the article that i'm telling you about and looked at my uh two dollar bill that i had and i missed them until i had to really focus and and then i was able to zoom in on them. the problem that i have here is the symbolism behind who they say or claim he's supposed to be to the african-american community like i said he's supposed to be allegedly the first uh black president who's supposed to predate um george washington and which it, it, why i bring that up is because if you look on the back of the two dollar bill in the foreground you will see george washington sitting at a table with another Caucasian man in front of him, handing him some paperwork, where other Caucasians are to the right of him doing some things, but those are the only ones at the table. If you look in the back, or like in, in their, I used to call like congregation, where everybody else is seated, like all the others are seated inside this meeting, but you see the separation in there, you will see John Hansen sitting with surrounded by other caucasians if you ask me it looked like he's being hemmed up and they are stealing america from him but hey that's just my opinion but by the way that it looks on the back of the two dollar bill it looks like they stole america from john hansen things that continue to go on to this day but i digress the reason why i say about the symbolism like i said they're telling us now or you hear rumblings of john hansen is supposed to be the first african-american president of the united states of america but the symbolism is saying yes we acknowledge you we know you're here yeah you, 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 you can come in you can come and chill with us but you just can't sit at the table you got to sit back there but you just can't sit at the table and they also love to give us treats that we didn't ask for we asked for equal rights which as i've said and will continue to say the equality is a joke there's no such thing as equality. And the reason why is because none of us are equal. No matter how they try to say that we all are equal, we are not equal. And as we can see, just by turning on our TVs, listening to the news, there is no equality nowhere. Because if there were, we all would be able to say what we feel and what we believe about certain things that now if you don't say what they want you to say or what they believe then you get treated unfairly so how where's the equality in that equality to me is how can i put this equality is for people who live in a land of make believe who actually believe that you know you can actually be equal with your enemy which i don't understand how anyone would think that because none of us are if you want to understand what I mean by equality is a joke and equality isn't real. All you have to do is first look at yourself. Next, look at your brothers and sisters and then think about how your parents treat you all. If you're honest with yourself, and if you're a parent and you're honest with yourself, then you will say, I don't treat my children equally because there are parents who love that, that line that says, oh, I treat all my kids equally. Everybody gets treated equally, but it's a lie. It sounds good to say, we wanna believe that it's possible, but it's impossible because the needs that I have is not the needs of my brothers and sisters. The needs that I have is not the needs of my cousins. The needs that I have are not the needs of my friends or my neighbors. We all have different needs. Yes, there are some things that overlap that may be similar, but overall, we're all different. We all need to be treated differently because we all have different needs. And that is the reason why we're having another problem we have in today is because people know what you're good at, know what you're qualified for, but people now in these days want to operate outside of their pay grade. It's like, you're not a police officer, but you want to tell a police officer how to do their job. How does that work?
equality is a joke. Everybody needs to be treated fairly. And all we wanted was an apology for what was done to us. Uh, 